How often do you clean out your fridge? How often should you clean out your fridge? So the best time to clean out your fridge is when it's nearly empty. This is usually before you'll need to do a food shop. So I aim to wipe out my fridge just before I put away my shopping. But this week, as you can see, I just wasn't in the mood. Hi guys, how are you all doing? For those of you that are new, my name is Sarah. Welcome. Today I'm taking you with me whilst I show you how I deep clean my fridge. First things first, we've got to empty everything out. I'm interested to know, are you the kind of person who tetrises things around or are you like me and you have to have everything in its place in organised bins? I'd love to be able to shove everything in and job done, especially after a food shop. But I have teenagers and from experience know for a fact that if snacks or stuff to make lunches isn't in a box that's easily accessible to them, the food will get lost in the fridge and it will be wasted money. go I'm taking you on a tour of my fridge with the spilt milk and butter marks and to be fair I've cleaned worse step is to take out all the removable shelving. Now I have an empty space I'm going to spray the fridge with my Method Limited Edition Custard Cream Spray. You can use whatever you have to hand. I will let this sit and do its magic whilst I move on to washing out the shelving. There are many ways you can tackle this part. If you have super dirty or smelly shelving you can go in with some baking powder and washing up liquid. This will help by providing abrasion, deodorization and stain removal. Pink stuff would also work just as well. Because my fridge isn't too bad and frankly I can't be bothered, I'm just using the easy method of washing up liquid and a scrub brush. So now they're all washed, I'm just going to let them sit and dry on my draining board. So I'm using a microfiber cloth working from the top to the bottom. This saves you from having to wipe the same shelf more than once. Housekeep.com have tips and tricks for keeping your fridge clean. Wipe any spillages as soon as you notice them. Check the use by date on a weekly basis. Store meat on the bottom shelf of your fridge. This is the best temperature for your meat. Always store cooked and raw meat separately to avoid cross contamination. Always let cooked food cool down before storing them in the fridge. I am so guilty of not following this rule. Hot food can actually raise the temperature of your fridge. Your fridge needs to be kept between 3 and 5 Celsius at all times. This temperature keeps you out of the danger zone where bacteria can rapidly grow. Keep the fridge door for items that don't need to be cold, so condiments and milk and butter, etc. Try not to overstock your fridge it's important cool air can circulate. Before I pop these back into the fridge, I'm just gonna give them a quick wipe over with some kitchen paper. The reason I'm not using my hand towel or my drying towel is because I find that it leaves lots of fibers behind, uh, but with the kitchen towel, there's no evidence left behind. 
so here I am showing you my sparkly clean fridge I need to pay close attention to the rubber seals around my doors these get dirty pretty quickly um, you can use an old toothbrush to get into the crevices or like me you can just use your finger and a cloth it's it, yeah it's pretty gross <laughs> trick that I like to use is doubling up some kitchen roll and putting it in the bottom of my fruit and veg drawer. You can actually buy um, specific liners for this drawer but I like to just be able to scoop it up and throw the whole thing in the bin. So here I am, I'm going to unpackage all the fruit and veg. Uh, my mum actually taught me that taking your fruit and veg out of the bags means that it doesn't sweat therefore go off a lot quicker Like me, you have this snazzy egg holder thingy. I like it. It's just purely aesthetics. It doesn't really serve a purpose. But a trick that I found when decanting the eggs from one thing to the other is to just wet your fingers. Um, that way you've got a better grip. Because I cannot tell you the amount of times I have done this and I have dropped the egg uh, in that container and boy is it a pain to clean out so now I'm just going to start sorting through all the food and checking for expired items I actually did okay this week I only had one out of date item um, and it was only by five days <laughs> food really doesn't get a chance to expire in this house you know teenagers as I'm placing stuff back into the fridge I'm also asking myself do I still want it do I need it and is it still edible so here you'll see that my boys have opened three packets of wraps so I am just going to take them all out and pop them into this sandwich bag thingy um, and then that way we've not got any going stale. You saw a minute ago that I used that white container to store my raw meat. But for some reason my family haven't cottoned on that that's what I do. Quite often I'll take chicken out of the freezer and pop it in here. And what will happen is that the juices will run out into the bottom. But then my boys are just taking stuff out of the lunch, like, I don't know, salami, and then chucking it into there when they're putting stuff away. So then that salami is getting cross-contaminated with the chicken juice and then that has to go in the bin and it's really frustrating. So what I've done is written on it, big writing, raw meat in the hopes that they read this and realize, oh, we can't be lazy and just shove any old thing anywhere. As always, if you've made it to the end of the video, thank you. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you never miss when I upload. Thank you for hanging out with me today and I will see you all next week. Have a lovely weekend. Much love.